Welcome back! If you haven't watched my How to X4 video to learn the basics, I'd suggest to do so. Otherwise, let's get straight to the point. You already know how to control your ship and earn some basic money. Now let's get some passive income. You'll learn how to scout for resources, configure ships and command a small mining fleet. We're back at Argon Prime with our starter ship and by now you should have earned 1 or 2 million credits by doing missions and other stuff. One important thing is to know how to scout a sector for stations and resources to mine. You can do this by yourself or command a ship you own to explore for you. Or you can just transfer command to your pilot and point him into the right direction. If you don't have a pilot yet, then hire some crewmates at a wharf and promote someone to captain. You can buy crew in the repair and upgrade menu. To the left in the crew section is a slider which lets you adjust how many crew members you want to hire. Afterwards, select your ship on the map or in the list on the left, then click on the crew tab. At the bottom is an overview of all the available crew members. Check out who has the best piloting skill. Then right click on the name and select promote to pilot. That's it. If you leave your pilot's chair now, your crewmate will take over. You then can command the ship like any other vessel you own and your pilot will do the rest. Right click anywhere and select fly and wait. You can let the ship fly somewhere else while you take care of other stuff. These commands also work in a chain. And by the way, waypoints are draggable after you set them. So no need to delete any if you misplaced one. Having a co-pilot in your ship is a good thing, but I don't recommend to use your own vessel to scout, because at the moment you don't have an empire you could manage in the meantime. Better go and earn some money while your fleet does the scouting. So let's go and buy a scout. You can just right click on a wharf and select buy ships. Select S for small ships and then a scout. The minimal preset usually is enough. A scout wouldn't win most fights anyways, so for now you don't need weapons on it. Without armament, his default behavior is to flee if he gets attacked and that's what we want. What he needs though are some shields. Mark II shields are the best bang for the buck to provide some basic survivability. Click on add to shopping list and then confirm the purchase. If you now take a look at your property list on the left, you can observe how far the scout's construction already has progressed. If you select your scout and right click anywhere, the option explore pops up. If you click on it, a sphere appears which displays the area the ship will scout automatically. As you can see, the search pattern is a bit erratic. Setting your own waypoints speeds the job up a lot. I usually use automatic scouting because it just takes longer and also gets the job done. But early game, there's not a lot to do otherwise, so setting up a spiral pattern manually is a good idea. If you accidentally screw up the perspective while placing waypoints, R centers on your ship as you already know and also recenters the map. Place the waypoints as described earlier and watch how your scout efficiently maps the sector. Red hexes are minerals, blue is gas and violet means both. If you click anywhere inside a sector, your info overlay will show which types of resources are available there. There's 100% sunlight and tons of ore in the reach. So let's get a miner and send it to, well, mine. Select M for medium ships this time and then the medium mineral miner. The medium preset is a good compromise. You don't need fixed weapons or turrets here too, because you also want your miner to rather flee than fight. Furthermore, you want a maxed out service crew. Why? Because they passively level with your pilot, which means you get pre-trained personnel you can distribute to other jobs later in the game. Maybe save your loadout as a preset now. Then add your ship to the shopping list. You can choose the amount of ships you want to produce here. I select 3 because I want to show you how to easily manage more than one miner later in the video. Now, something irritating happens. The wharf tells us that resources are missing, but we can still confirm the order. The warning just means that the wharf will place a buy order for the missing resources. 
Most of the time, some NPC will deliver the required materials in the near future. But sometimes there's a shortage and you have to supply them by yourself. Let's confirm the order and see what happens. At first it says 1 minute and 30 seconds each and nothing happens. That's because additional resources are needed. Let's wait a bit. Something is docking. Maybe it's the missing hull parts. Here we go. The first two miners went into production. Now we want them to mine for us. You could just right click anywhere and select mine to tell the ship to do so. But we want passive income. So just delete the order and rather give a default behavior to the miner. This means after a ship is done with whatever you tell it to do, it will default back to these standard orders. Select local auto mine. Then select a where, in this case or, and an anchor space, which is the reach in our example here. Inexperienced miners are only able to mine locally, which means they are confined to their anchor space. Let's drop a resource probe to help our miner find minerals. You can also get them at a wharf or an equipment dock. If you hover your mouse over a probe, it displays the average resource density within its scan radius. This might be important for some missions too. Let's wait a bit and see what our miner does. As you can see, it is mining happily and its cargo space is filling with ore. But once the job is done, the miner gets confused. There's no station in the sector willing to buy ore and our miner is too inexperienced to jump to another sector and sell. Yes, the pilot can fly a spaceship, but taking the gate to another sector is too much of an intellectual effort. Let's see if we can sell our ore manually in the adjacent sector. Zoom in, open the trade overlay and type in ore. If you now hover over the resource, all stations you discovered buying it are shown on the map, like this refined goods complex. Also notice that there's some silicon in the sector, which usually is more profitable than ore. Delete the ore filter and type in silicon to see whether someone is buying or not. And there we go, a silicon refinery pops up. Seems like we have a plan. Now let's relieve our confused miner and give some new orders. Select the miner, then right click on the refined goods complex and select trade with station. Sell all your ore and confirm. The miner also needs new orders, so go to the behavior tab, select Argon Prime as the new anchor space and switch from mining ore to silicon. It will automatically dock now and sell the ore and after the order queue is finished it will take off and revert to the new default behavior, which is to auto mine and sell silicon in Argon Prime. There's not a lot of silicon here, so make sure you drop some resource probes to help with mining. The higher the density, the faster your miners will collect resources to sell. So you might have to start looking out for other sectors better suited for mining than this one to maximize profit. Once your miner has filled all its base, it will now automatically sell the silicon at the refinery. That's it. There's your passive income. Now let's expand the fleet a bit. You don't have to give all the orders again. Just select another miner, right click on the miner already at work and select Mimic Commander's Behavior. Pick a squadron designation and there you go, your first mining fleet. The commanding ship is marked with a little crown icon. Whenever you want to reassign your fleet, just change the commander's orders in the behavior menu and every other ship will just copy these orders. In the next video we'll check out how to build a little mining station in the reach to take advantage of the large amount of ore there. And here's a little bonus tip to make your scouting easier. You can just right click on an unexplored gate or accelerator to tell your scout to go there and auto explore. It will then automatically scout the sector. Also don't forget to replace your medium miners with larger ones later in the game because they are immune to their natural predators namely the cock. Now go out there and do some mining, thanks for watching and see you next time.